I'm gonna leave it at that. No, I'm not. What I will add is... loves to stay back on your screen with another one hope you're all well as you can tell today we're talking about some touchy topics these are questions i've been asked over the years either on the internet where you know it's a whole mess or in my personal life with people where i'm just looking at them like really figure today's the day that i answer these questions since in the world of life legally blind maybe you're wondering these same thing too so let's get into it and hey check the timestamps if there's a topic or two you might want to skip just letting you know we get real time high with this one today first question and we'll get more cringe as we go down the list is how do you take care of yourself personal hygiene dish so the frizzies be frizzying sometimes sometimes i have crumbs but what i do is i always use my fingers to tap and touch and make sure i'm good when it comes to you know shaving or whatever i've lasered most of my body but my legs for example i run my hands down to make sure when i shave there's no stubble left because i can't see it same with my nostrils i just do like this just to make sure there's no i don't know what that was but you know just make sure there's no hair up in there a little snip snip I don't know what's going on, but recently I've been getting some fuzz over here that I just wax on my own. I get my eyebrows waxed, my nails get did once in a while. This is for a wedding, that's why it's looking like this. And my toes get done because I can't see them anymore. But if I could, I would still do my nails and my feet on my own because I actually used to love doing that. For the most part, when it comes to personal care, I use my magnifying mirrors I showed you in the last couple of videos. And when that fails, I can always take a picture, zoom in. It's funny, someone years ago told me, take a picture and then see yourself. And I'm like, selfies all day? If you ever do it in public, people just think you're vapid, which is part of the culture anyway. So they don't know that you're taking a picture to make sure there's not food between your teeth or something on your face that's not supposed to be there. Getting a little more cringe with it. People have actually asked me, how do you know when you're on your period? Listen guys, I'm legally blind. Not blind blind, not color blind, legally blind. And you don't need details to see your draws. And TMI, Ever since my cycle started when I was a teen, I've always had horrendous cramps. When I tell you the world ends every 28 days, I used to throw up and faint. And I wish I was exaggerating, but that's how bad it was. Thank God for medication. Cramps still come through, so I always know when my course has arrived. But I mean, just like any other woman, you can tell there's so many signs, whether you bloat like a balloon like me, or maybe you feel more tender, or you give off more heat, or there's a scent. It's all natural. It's all indications of when your cycle starts. So you don't need to keep an eye out for that. Getting more personal with it, let's talk dating. I've done two videos in my site series if you wanna learn more. You can check out here, YouTube membership or over on Patreon for it. But just to lightly glaze over this topic, people have asked me, when do you share? which I answer over there, and how do guys respond? So let's answer the second one today. It's mixed. It definitely depends where you're at and who you're sharing it with. Personally, me, I never say off rip. There was a one time many moons ago, and I made a video, if you wanna check it out, where I put it on my Tinder profile, and over 100 guys hit me up. How are you blind? You're not blind if you're on this. What do you mean you're legally blind? You're too sexy to be blind. Ooh, I never been with a blind girl before, and I'm just, Mm, if dating wasn't messy before, I don't know what it is now. I, I just, some men are trash. Some people are trash. When it comes to confiding in someone, the responses are usually positive. A lot of guys have said that they admire it, they're impressed, it inspires them. I've been in relationships where the man's like, I don't know what's gonna happen or I feel the pressure, and I'm thinking the pressure in my geniaco voice, what pressure? Excuse me, sir, you're not the one that wakes up every day wondering if her vision got worse. But now I look at it a little differently. I see it as this person is maybe thinking about what their future could be like, and we live in a very selfish world. Whenever I go to date someone, I think of what I can give them and how I can be of service to them. Most men tell me what they want from me. I had a guy say, you would be perfect for me because you would do this and this and this for me, and I was waiting waiting, waiting, loading, hoping that he would say, oh, and you know, I wanna give you that. No, nope, never happened. A lot of men that I've encountered, unfortunately, are me, 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 all day, every day. So it's about how I would impede or improve their life. And either end of the spectrum, 
leave with love because me not want that okay i want someone who's equally yoked who's as strong as me listen i don't toot my own horn if you watch any of my other star guard videos any of my videos i don't big up myself but what i will say is i could be a completely different jaded person because of this eye disease i have my bad days too close friends know the truth but for the most part i'm on my grind and i don't give up and if someone's going to give up on me go with god additionally i think it's almost like a website filter because if a man is turned off because you have a limitation that's not the person for you i'm gonna leave it at that no i'm not what i will add is it's very interesting seeing the response because in all honesty another person's entitled to say you know i want to be this person and i want to share my life with this type of person if that's not their ideal it's fine for them to say no to you don't feel so rejected it's rejection but don't feel so rejected because you could be rejected for being an asshole i'd rather be rejected for being blind i don't know about you it really gets me how much struggling with star guards can play with your self-confidence and if you let it play with it too much you become the perfect victim for a predator who's going to play with you okay there have been times unfortunately in my life where i told myself i couldn't do better or i should settle because of my sight loss that's not the girl today that you see okay you have to build yourself up because there are people out there who want someone who's insecure so they can play games with them. I used to tell myself, this person would never cheat on me because who would cheat on a blind chick? Like I can't even see what you're doing. It's possible. People have also asked me, how do I look for love? I don't, I don't see much. Looking for who, for what, for where? Love finds me, okay? <laughs> just kidding dating to the side like i said if you want more there's a site series that includes dating relationships friendships work school independence all that stuff but let's talk about the number one thing that is hella cringy so inappropriate and i've been asked too many times for me to count how do you have sex i'm going to assume here only assume because i've never asked anyone why are you asking me that i should though but when people in my personal life have asked me that first of all the first person who asked me this i thought you know my boyfriend you're his friend what kind of question are you asking me the other people i'm just like why do you want to know i mean when people ask me on social it's just like whatever the internet's just like that the internet is internetting but when people in my personal life of all the questions to question and ponder in the universe, that's what you wanted to fix yourself to ask me? Okay, go off. My answer is actually a question. How do you have sex? I am a classy lady, I don't kiss and tell. Maybe one day if I'm on lip service with Angela Yee. <laughs> Just kidding, but seriously, I'm gonna guess that it has to do with eye contact. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm trying to make eye contact with this camera I can't see. I think I do a good job if you ask me. The closer you are to me, the clearer I can see your face. And that's all I'm gonna say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. Oh, not these frizzies. The last video I did, the flyaways were flying away, but it's okay, it's done.